To the faculty, staff, students, parents, and the Holmes County Consolidated School District community. This is Jennifer Wilson, Interim Superintendent. I am pleased to report that the Holmes County Consolidated School District will be featured in an ad that will be aired during an upcoming NFL game. This ad will focus on athletics and academics and will include video footage of our high school football team and our classroom teachers. The ad will focus on the importance of winning on the field and winning in the classroom. I was contacted by representatives from the Foundation from the Mid-South. The Foundation was seeking to highlight a school district that has made significant academic gains as a result of placing a laser-like focus on teaching and learning, providing professional development for faculty and staff, and implementing high-quality educational programs such as Gear Up Mississippi. When invited to participate in the ad, I quickly said, yes, I'm honored to showcase our district and the awesome faculty, staff, students, parents, and community stakeholders that we have. Stay tuned to the date and time of the NFL game. I'm pleased to showcase one of our students, Tyrikas Mays, Holmes County Central High School graduate. Tyrikas received his commercial driver's license on Friday, September 13, 2024. In January of 2024, the district in partnership with the Holmes County Board of Supervisors piloted a CDL training academy. This program aligns with the district's focus on ensuring that all students are college and career ready. Tarika's immediate goal is to be a truck driver and in the near future, own his own truck. Congratulations, Tarika's job well done. To any Holmes Countyans, if you're interested in the CDL Training Academy, please contact Ms. Century Hathorne at the Career and Technical Center. And that number is 662-834-3052. The next class will start in October, 2024. The Holmes County Consolidated School District, driven by purpose, dedicated to excellence, destined for success. Thank you, Jennifer Wilson, Interim Superintendent.